This horse is named Lightning, and it has a nice blaze on it, don't you think? Now it ain't a Maverick because it ain't a Mustang. That blaze, though, looks a lot like an arrow. But I think it looks even more so like a bomb plummeting towards Earth. If it is an arrow, it's pointing towards a bridle. Nonetheless, I still would argue that it looks just as much like that bomb shape I outlined from the cover of Diary of an Early American Boy as it does an arrow. On March 3rd of 2013, Forrest said, I was careful. A blaze can be on a tree, in a fire, on the face of a horse, and a host of others. Life adventures are like thunderstorms. It gets dark, the wind blows, everyone runs for cover. A few people get wet. Then it's gone until the next one. And the survivors are those with the biggest umbrella. Now a horse is a host of others, and it ain't the thunder people are scared of, it's the lightning. Wagons and covered bridges have good covers. On January 1st, 2014, Forrest responded to the question, what does the word blaze mean in the poem? A horse can have a blaze on its forehead. A blaze can be scraped on a tree to mark one's way, a blaze can mean a flame or a scar on a rock. On June 24th, 2014, Forrest said, The blaze is a physical thing. It's not theoretical. Boy, did I give you a big clue. That's not a clue. I mean, it doesn't take a scientist to figure out the blaze is something you can look at. Nick Lazarid has said, But what is it exactly? Blaze is a collection of something? Forrest replied, A horse has a blaze on his forehead here. I mean, there are rocks that have a white face could be a blaze. I mean, there's a fire that's blazing. I mean, I could give you a thousand different scenarios, and all of them come to me in by email. Everybody finds a different one. The fact is, the important one is out there. April 29th, 2016, from MysteriousWritings.com Foxy said, Which direction does the blaze face? North, south, east, or west? Forrest replied, I didn't take a radial off the blaze, Foxy. I'm thinking it might not be any of those directions. Just a side note here, the spokes on a wagon wheel are also called radials. On January 17, 2015, on DowNitzel.com, Scrapbook 125, in an article called Firecracker, Forrest wrote, School was out for the holidays, but all the kids were hanging around the social soda fountain at Smith's and waving past the firecracker stand. The second day, a couple of giggling girls walked up to flirt with the two enterprising businessmen. One purchased a fuse bomb, lit it, and tossed it in over the counter at Leroy thinking it would be a fun joke, except the dangerous apparatus landed on some aerial bomb bets, which promptly detonated with the ferocious ricocheting blast that was heard clear down through the cemetery, two miles distant. The entire store inventory of holiday explosives joined in the mighty discharge. A local newspaper reporter noted that a box of dung fused lighters landed over by the school gymnasium. I mentioned earlier we were going to return to the passage from Forrest's scrapbook 125 because it may hold the key to understanding how he sprinkled hints into some of his stories. So let's compare it to the following passage from Diary of an Early American Boy where it looks to me like Forrest cannibalized the story's essence, added his own wonderful creative twist, and then went about hinting about it. Please revisit the Philadelphia Covered Bridge section of this commentary where he appears to have done something similar. Here, cried the auctioneer, is a fine a beast as any man would want, and with her goes an almost new wagon. Surely I can get one higher bid. Who will raise it another five dollars? Just then, someone in the crowd with a little cannon lit the fuse and held his ears. Bang! The cannon exploded only a few feet behind Isaac, and his two hands went over his head as if he were shot. Thank you, Isaac Blake, said the auctioneer. There's a man who knows what he wants. One hand was enough, but he put up two. 
sold to Mr. Blake. Well, said Isaac later on, we have a new horse and he came to us by fate and because of a toy cannon. I don't know what they called him before, but I have a name for him now. It shall be Bang. Both Eric's and Forrest's stories are somewhat sensationalized with similar nomenclature. Fuses, bombs, blasts, bangs, fireworks, cannons, etc. So let us not forget Forrest said on a few separate occasions that he knew his treasure chest was a bomb, but he didn't know it had a fuse. Interestingly, the word cannon in Spanish is spelled C-A-N-O-N and pronounced like the English canyon. Here is the definition from Google Translate, which is more like a list of synonyms. El Canyon, cannon, canyon, barrel, gun, tube, gorge. Noah's father happens to be describing a toy cannon. I can't help but think about that title to the story, My Spanish Toy Factory, on pages 32 and 33 of The Thrill of the Chase, where guess what? It ain't about Spanish toys. <laughs>